Hello everyone, Morp here, and welcome to the final video in our series of showing every bobblehead location in the wasteland. Here we are with part 7 of Skyline Valley. Now there will be a link to the playlist for all of the other ones, as well as a link to this map here. So let's get rock and rolling. So first up we have Camp Liberty with two bobbleheads here. Right when you run in here, there's going to be some communists to deal with here. You're going to turn right over to the right. Now this one, you actually don't have to jump up on the roof to get it. You can actually get it right from the ground. Right here. Alright, so next up you're going to be turning around and going over to like a little pavilion where there's a projector set up for some entertainment. And right behind here, there's going to be a little locker and it is right there. Boom. Okay, so up next we have got Dark Hollow Manor. So now this one, you actually have to have done a portion of the story quest here in Skyline Valley. Um, I won't really add any spoilers, so you will need a key to get into this little um, kind of security shed or whatever you call it. There's a door on one side and if you've done the quest, you can actually just walk right through the laser grid here and rock and roll with the bobblehead right here. All right, so up next, we have the Grindstone Arch. Um, now this one, we have one bobblehead here. You're gonna make your way over, you're gonna be some super moves to take care of. I'm gonna go across the little bridge, and right next to the terminal, boom, and boom. All right, so up next, we have the Hawksville Weather Station. Now, this one, I do show kinda how to get here without a jetpack, but obviously if you have a jetpack, you can just jump right up. But, um, so, you know, they kind of do have it so you can jump up these little things in a series up here to grab it. And there's also a cap stash right there. Boom, boom. Alright, don't forget to click the playlist for all of the other videos. Alright, so there's actually two locations here, but I did separate them out with different chapters. This is the High Knob Lookout. So this first one is actually here. There's another one just off of the area here, kind of where the caravans go. It's an unmarked location, but I did label it here. So you're going to start at the same fast travel point. You're going to go right about here or so. You're going to turn to the left. And there's going to be kind of like a little, I don't know, lunch area or something with a... It's right there. You can see it up in the distance. It's kind of like a statue and stuff. There'll be some bears to take care of. You make your way up on over here. And it's sitting right here. Another cap stash. Woot woot. Okay, so up next we have a Johnson's Acre. There are two bobbleheads here. One's gonna be in the bathroom inside the actual hole. So we had a really bad lunch there. Alright, so from here you're gonna be turning around and it's gonna be up on top of this little thing. I'll show you how to bounce up here. And these are all trying to show the ways without using a jetpack. Otherwise, you can just jump right up, fly up there, and boom. Okay, so up next we have Makeout Point. There are two bobblehead locations here. Right when you turn around, it'll be one right in the car. This next one's going to be up on like kind of a rafter up in this building, right here, and then right smackaroni, and boom. Okay, so up next we have Naked Creek. It's actually um, kind of like an unmarked location right over here. Another one that's right off of the caravans. But you can go to this fast travel here. And kind of like a little parking lot. There'll be one in the back of a truck. Which we're going to show here first. You can get it kind of from grabbing right over on the side here. Boom. And the next is going to be right in the little ice cream looking shop here. Right over to the right. And... Rock and roll. Alright, up next we have Rapidin Camp. There are three bobbleheads here. And these took many, many, many server hops for all seven of these videos. I got crazy lucky on this one, and all three were here. So this is one of the super rare one take little videos here. So our first one's here, boom. And then you're going to be turning around. You're going to make your way 
across this little pavilion. I think that's what you call pavilion. Get the clay up yonder. This next one's gonna be in this first little worker shed thing right here. And then the last one's gonna be in another little trailer. Right over right over here. Oh I love one takes. Alright, so next up we have the Stony Mound, Stony Man Lookout. There's one bobblehead here. Now this is where you come and start the caravan stuff. And you're gonna run right in here. And boom boom. Alright, so up next we have the Slumber Mill Motel. So you're gonna run in here. And it's gonna be in a room over off to the side here. The second door, I think it was second door. Pop right in. This will be blocked there, so you will have to have some lock picking skills to get in. And Alright, next we have the trading post. This one's a little special here. There are two locations here. One of them is at the time of this video, it hasn't been passed or anything. Now this one could be different. The second one will always be here and it is always a bobblehead leader. Uh, but as like with all the other things that I've told you, these are affected by your loot table. So if you pick up this one, that's the only one that can be there. So you will have to reset your loot table. Anyway, thank you all so much for everything that you guys have done. The support has been amazing. I want to thank all the team Mort for coming and hanging out. And big thank you to uh, Mort Town with Christina and Bumface Jim and Crazy Town and Wendy S. Woot Woot. All right, on. Well, here, click the list for the rest of the bobblehead location videos and come and check us out in the Discord, and we will see you in the wasteland.